Hello guys and welcome back to the Rainbow Gamers and today we're going to be starting a new thing called the I haven't really named it. It's probably going to be called how to build a professional server for Minecraft. And it's start and I guess it's going to teach you how to like build a good server like not like I haven't seen any videos that actually like teach you that aren't like from old versions like how old is this? Like the one I saw recently was like back in this version 1.4.2, which that was a while ago. So what you're probably gonna want to do first is um I guess download Bucket. So we're gonna want to go to do I have the unstable? Yeah, the betas. Oh wait, I want to go to um 1.10. Okay, they don't have 1.10 on here. Why do I have another snapshot? Fine. Okay, we're gonna have to go to a different link because they don't have it. Let's try this one. Okay, so you're gonna want to go to this link, which is in the description, and you're gonna want to go to Spigot. Actually, I'll just leave this link in the description. Why is this appearing? It's an ad. But okay, let me shrink this a little temporarily. So then you're going to want to download 1.10.2 and it might bring you to an ad fly website where it's going to make me go for like 10 seconds unless I get lucky because of my stupid ad block. Yep. And I'll probably get ad. Okay, so 4, 3, 2, 1. And this website will give you an ad if you click right now, see ad, and then you're going to want to, so you get the thing. You're going to want to save it to your downloads, like that, and drag it into your folder. And I should have my folder arranged by, where is it? It's not in here, let's just do it by name. Okay, do not click these ads that you get. You're going to want to just um, close out of it, and I'm going to leave a file in the description of this video but basically what you're going to want to do um um oops but okay so what you're going to want to do let me just minimize this you're going to want to open if you're on a mac you're going to want to open text edit i don't know what the others are for epc i think it's um i don't know but Okay, so you're going to want to go to wherever you've saved your folder to, and new document, and first of off, you're going to want to make it plain text, and then you're going to want to go to this website, and it's going to be, you're going to want to search how to make a Minecraft server, and you're going to want to click this link, and you're going to want to scroll down to if you're on Windows you're gonna wanna scroll down to about um where is it? You're gonna wanna scroll down to here and make the t copy this, paste it in here, and then you're gonna wanna change this and this to however much memory you wanna give yourself. But then you're gonna want to rename this to spigot, not jar, and you're going to want to replace this with spigot, but I'm not going to do this because I'm running on a Mac, so I'm going to copy this, which is for Mac, and we use gigabytes instead of megabytes, I think, but, so I'm going to change this to 10, actually I'm not going to have much on here. So I'm going to do, I'll do three and four. Um, so, and then I'm going to want to change this to spigot. And then I'm going to want to save it, save in tutorial by automat automatically. But then what I'm going to do, th then what I'm going to want to do is delete this all, even the dot text. And you're gonna want to name it start dot command 
you can name this start part anything you really want, like, um, like, set up world, but it has to be, like, like, it has to end in dot command, and you have to know that that's what you use to start your world. Okay, so, we don't want that. And then, we're going to want to go to terminal. Don't close out of this yet. Um, I don't know what to do from here on PC. Okay, so... We're going to want to do chmod a plus x, I think. If I get this wrong, I'm sorry. There's two and I don't know which one's which, usually. You're going to want to drag this into here. Did I do this right? Let's see. Okay. And now you're going to want to double click this. It's going to start here. Okay, I did do that right. It's going to load this up. You might get a few errors. This is hosting. This is starting your server, as you can see, and you're gonna immediately once you try and run it, you're gonna get. Um, it's gonna start trying to run it, and then it's gonna say server. It's gonna say fail to load ULA, and you need to agree to it. I almost had a voice crack there, but um, didn't. I avoided that, and you're gonna want to go to your ELA, and you're going to want to. Copy and paste this link if you haven't already read the Minecraft EULA. Copy paste into here and re and like skim through this EULA. You don't have to, but it's just a recommendation. I have read this whole EULA. It's not actually that long for EULA, but I have read the whole thing and I know the conditions. So I'm going to change this to true because we will not be breaking any of those rules today today okay and we're just going to now we're gonna rerun this and as you can see it's gonna start genning files up pretty fast so yeah as you see it just did all that and now we have all these files let me just we have all these files now it's generating our world and let me um I think I want to do that. Yes, and now I want to. Oops. We're just going to do that and that. There we go. So now it's doing the. Now it's doing the end, and it, it's doing all the worlds basically. So now it's complete, and if I went onto Minecraft, I could just simply get on it using slash localhost. But that's actually going to be it for today, setting up a world, or setting up your server, and actually, let me, this is not going to be it, um, well, you're going to want to stop your server, and, okay, now it's stopped, you're, you're going to want to right click and open this with, um, a different server, or a different app called Text Wrangler, which I will leave in the description, you do not have to use Text Wrangler, this app, I personally love. So, as soon as it opens, it might take a minute. I will leave it in the description, but I love this app. It's like Notepad++ for Mac. And Notepad++ was pretty amazing. So, this is it. It, like, organizes it completely. Like, see, if I have... Mm, if I have false, hover over false, it'll outline all the falses. And if I have true, outline true, it will outline all the trues. So you're going to want to set the IP to whatever you want it to be. So you can set it to hi. Or no, you can't set it to whatever you want to be. So what am I saying? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to port forward your server. And you guys, this is part one. There's going to be a different way you can do it after. This is not like the default way that you should probably do it, but this is a cheap way. Just by the way. There will be a more expensive way coming up next, after this. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to search what's my IP address, I think. Okay, no, that is not what you want to do. So, wait, hang on. So what you want to do is 
if you're on a Mac, you want to go to System Preferences. This is all going to be blocked out, by the way, because you I don't want you to see this. So, you're going to go into Network. And you're going to see, like, an IP right here. And depending on what you have, it's going to be, like, different. Um, like, it could be, like, a certain amount of letters if you have, like, an Echo Base or whatever. But, or not an Echo Base, but, um, a... A base station. So I just have to look and see what it was, what it was. And I do not actually. And I'm gonna go through all these quickly. Minecraft server properties. That's just telling you what it is. It's telling you the date here. Generator settings. I do not know. Op permission is like how they. Um, here. Let me see what the generator settings are. Um, sis. Okay. It was. What is this called? It is server properties and it will be called generator settings so what we're going to want to know is what this is okay what let's skip that but op permissions okay op permission levels so these are vanilla permissions level ones can bypass spawn protection Level 2s can use slash clear, difficulty, effect, game mode, game rule, give, and TP, and can add command blocks. Level 3. Ops can ban, deop, kick, and slash op. Level 4s can use slash stop. So, what is recon? Recon is basically the highest administration on the server. After you log in with recon while playing a server, you can change basically any server setting such as the map, gravity, number of players. It's hard to explain everything about it in such a little box. <laughs> okay, so that I did not know, but allow nether, that's pretty simple. Level name, world. Okay, so this one, you see how this is named world. Um, if I, <laughs> if I change this to something else, um, it would automatically recreate this, these files, unless I rename them as well. So let's say, like, I said, World of Awesomeness. As you see, if I rerun the server, actually, I need to save this first. As you can see, if I, um, where's the skirk off the hand? Okay, I don't know why that went full screen. It's gonna start regening the world called World of Awesomeness. Yeah, stop. That's yeah, fine. I'm just gonna quit it like that. I'm lazy. And do not ever do what I just did, by the way. Please. But I only did that because I don't care about these worlds. Oops, what did I just do? Okay, wait. I don't know what I just did. Okay, so I do not care about those. No, that will not work. So, back to what we were doing. Okay. Enable quarry, no. I don't know what that does. I mean, allow flight, that basically allows you to fly without being kicked. Announce player achievements, that, oh, that's simplistic. Max world size, that's how big the world can be. Level type default. Enable recon, we already talked about that. Force game mode. Oh, level type, it basically just means, like, flat world, whatever. But, okay, so, force game mode, that basically allows you to force what game mode they spawn in, no matter what game mode they were in when they left. If you understand that. But, level seed, that is, like, what seed your world will spawn in. But, server IP, this is the most important part. That's what, that part that you put in there... You're either going to want to do that, or you're going to want to port forward, which I do not remember how to do on this modem currently. I'll do a video on that at some other point. I'll show you how to do that at some other point. Network impression threshold. You basically do not want to mess with this. and Unless you're, like, really pro. That I'll tell you if you have to mess with that. Max build height, that's 256. Like, that's how high you can build. Spawn NPCs, those are villagers. Whitelist is, like, okay, only these people can get on. Nobody else can get on. 
spawn animals, that's simple. Snooper allows it to, like, show, like, gather info from your computer. Hardcore mode, you know what that is if you played Minecraft. Uh, resource pack, SHA1, I don't know what that is. Online mode, basically uh, makes it so that, like, not so cracked accounts or, ha or, like, illegal accounts cannot get on Minecraft. So, like, they cannot join your server. Resource pack, you can actually use, a, like, an online resource pack. That's hard to explain. PvP allows you to, um, player versus player, ass assumingly. I've never really added that. I'm trying to go back fast because I have more to talk about. Difficulty, um, that's, like, peaceful, all those. Enable command blocks, we're gonna actually enable these quickly. Oops. Uh. Okay, play player idle timeout, they'll be kicked. Game mode zero, that's like game mode survival. Two is, uh, one is creative, two is adventure, and three is spectator. Max players is how many players can join. Spawn monsters is like how monsters can spawn. View distances, I don't know how that works, I think it's the max you can view on a server. Generate structures, that's like the end, not, like, the end cities and stuff, and then MOTD is, like, or, it's, like, a Minecraft server. Like, you know how, like, in the bottom of a server, it'll say, like, the name of it, and then it'll say that? Like, I'll just change it to that for some reason. Mm, or, um, I don't think that'll work. Actually, no, I'll just change it to high. So, We'll see that next episode, but, so that's this, and now what else was I going to talk about? Yeah? You are? Okay guys, that was all I had to talk about here, so now we're just going to quickly run the server. And we're going to open Minecraft. It's going to lag a little because I'm having some weird glitches, but I'm going to be getting a slightly better computer at some point in, like, the next few months. So, let's hope for that, like, probably by January. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Let me just, like, get into Minecraft. What's it doing? Why is it regening the spawn? I'm an idiot. Okay, well, these are not really useful anymore. Okay, let me guess so that you guys will see it properly. Where is that? Okay, now you guys can just see this. And we will just direct connect to localhost. If I can spell it right. Host. Please, oh shoot. Okay, sorry guys, let me just connect to the right version, because I didn't decide to do that. Oh man, I have my hacked clients from the 2B2D day, 2B2D, 2B2T days, not 2B2D. What's that? 2D, I just hear there's a server called like 3D. 3T, 3T, or something like that. It's weird. Okay, so you guys should be able to see this. Let me see if I can connect to the local host now. Mm. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's a little strange spawn. Yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna get a little lag. Like, a lot of lag. Yeah, I'm getting hardcore lag, but, so, as you can see, if I do slash op my, no, it, I need to op myself, actually, on here, but, there, like, basically, I'm just showing you that the server works, and, yep, I guess I'll, I guess that's all I have to say. Okay, guys, at this point, I realized that the audio actually corrupted from right after I started lagging so badly, it was insane. So basically what happened is, I don't know what happened, but ever since I updated to macOS Sierra, 
I've been getting these strange lag spikes. I do not fully understand them. But then after those lag spikes stopped, I realized I forgot to go back into the desktop mode. And I was just stuck on this screen the whole time. And yeah, maybe I'll put a dancing monkey up there. Yeah, I'll put a dancing monkey up there so you can just see him little wiggling. But so that's all I had to say. And I guess don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And if I sounded tired, I was because right now it's 2.17 in the morning. You can see the clock in the top right corner. Near the top right. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. As you can see in the background, it's like switching between what was going on. So, I have to hurry. See you guys next time. And good bye.